Yes, I cut styrofoam dot in moderation. The styrofoam I'm using here is a harder styrofoam called foam board. I recommend using this type. This will do the job, but if there is something that will work for different types, the hardness ratio is high. You can use them too. Here I am applying the styrofoam layer by layer. Of course, as I said, if you have a thicker styrofoam, you can apply it in one go. I open the joints with the burning process. You can do this with something sharp or a pencil. I give stone texture by burning. These operations can be done with different techniques. You don't have to burn it. The machine I use is a soldering machine, battery soldering machine. Here I used wood, glue to stick it white. But instant glue can also be used. This was the technique I used when I first started, but now, I use instant glue. I used grout. Plaster or stone dust can be used instead. I recommend stone dust. Of course dot IT will be harder and more durable. I model skulls with polymer clay. I will petrify them with an air machine hot air machine. I'm making a few of these. I also make wireframes of our dungeon with them. Here I cut to size. I fasten them together with instant glue. I make my chains with polymer clay. You can also use real chain here. I make my skeletons from polymer clay. I dilute the acrylic paint thoroughly. I feed it to the floor. I let the floor absorb the paint. A smoky color will emerge. I wear it with aging paint and white. To make the indentations and protrusions clearer, I apply an aging on it with light colors. I make this stone more real.
I'm giving details. Here I give the effects of the stone from the edges with brown paint. I'm applying primer paint. Again, I a primer to the skulls that I model with polymer clay. I paint my metal wires all black then. I will give an aging pass effect with brown. I make the base color black so that the texture of metal coming out of the gold is clear. Cadence has a set that gives Dada an aging rust effect, I used it. We throw metal powder on it. Then by oxidizing, we really pass it. Yes, we oxidize. Here again, a a soil sand texture. In order to give realistic details in our scene, we have .to make that seem realistic with such small details. Here, we make the sand, the soil, the dust look more realistic in such places. This is a very old video. My techniques in my new videos are of course a little more advanced. Now, we will determine the locations of our skeletons in our venue, that is, on our stage. In the meantime, we need to create a scene integrity. We have now determined the locations of those iron bars in our dungeon. We place them and show here that people have been tortured and persecuted. Of course, besides this torture, there is also a chemical waste. We built a chemical waste site here to show that chemical waste is dumped here. Molding epoxy with plexiglass. Plexiglass is a plastic material. Epoxy doesn't stick to plastic anyway, so we use plexi. I color the epoxy with green. Here, I will apply a base color. Chemical waste is green also when it 
gets dark to show such chemical waste. I'm using something here to reflect that light is phosphor. You see how our phosphorus is burning. I apply this both to the flowing ground and to the bottom so that it gives a more effective result. Make it look better visually. Of course, be careful when applying. This because, in the normal thing, it becomes an opaque material, so it does not show the bottom at all. So pour it, does it to not the bottom. Become transparent. So if you pour it on the top layer, you will spoil the epoxy. After pouring on the base, apply epoxy on top. Epoxy should not lose its transparency. I apply it to the base. I keep it for a day and freeze it. Then I apply epoxy. Yes, with the dark green color. I want to give that effect the effect, it's scattered around. The moment of falling into that chemical waste, or something. To give a wave effect to its surface. To give the ripple effect of that water. I use gloss gel. It is very different that I am using now, I was. Using that brand then, but I am currently not very using satisfied. Mod Podge gloss. And I am very satisfied. If you are going to do something like this, I recommend Mod Podge Gloss. Don't mind that it looks white, then it becomes transparent. Yes, you see how the phosphorus burns. Thanks for watching.